Bell starting lineup for Boston up front. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Kendrick Perkins at the guards. Rajon Rondo and Ray Allen. Cleveland front line: LeBron James, Antoine Jameson, Shaquille O'Neal in the backcourt, Anthony Parker, and Mo Williams. Hi everybody, I'm Marv Albert along with Reggie Miller. David Aldridge works the sideline. Moments ago on the pregame, David ran down the latest on the LeBron elbow injury. LeBron saying he is all right and he will play. And uh, Reggie, as we look at your key factors for this game one of the best of seven, I assume you start with point number one and LeBron. Well, obviously, the talk the last few days has been all about LeBron James and that gives you an elbow, and rightfully so. But people are forgetting the supporting cast. Antoine Jameson can hurt you in a number of ways on the post, being able to score at awkward and weird angles, and stretching the floor with that three-point shooting. And Mo Williams, four regular season matchups with the Celtics, stretching the floor 55% from beyond the yard. One of those tough guards to cover in transition. How about from the Celtics point of view? Well, talk about being healthy. Paul Pierce and the Celtics, this might be the healthiest they've been all season. It's important for Paul to stay out of foul trouble when he's guarding LeBron James early and force him to work at the other end. And Rondo, you heard Kenny Smith talk about tempo and speed. Doc Rivers agrees whoever can get in the transition game early can pay dividends for their team's late. We are ready to go. The officials at F. Rushville scorer Jason Phillips. Opening tip controlled by the Cavaliers. And during the regular season, the Celtics and the Cavs split their four meetings, each team winning on the road. And there have been some testy moments throughout this season series as Mo Williams opens up with a short jump shot. Uh, great little dribble action out on the perimeter between the two guards and fours. Switch action, nice. Jump shot there by Mo Williams. Paul Pierce. The Cavaliers with the best record in the NBA, 61 and 21, opening round of the playoffs. They won that series in five on the turnover. Here comes Pierce. Pierce on the drive, took a hit, was able to lay it home. Two possessions for the Celtics, two buckets by Paul Pierce. We saw a little bit of this in the first round series matchup with the Bulls. James in games four and five kind of going at LeBron James as the Celtics come up with another turnover. Here's play by James. Kicks it out to Perkins. He's tempted. Gets it a bit closer. Rebounded by LeBron James. James using that right hand as he goes. If Pierce will not get the call, does not get the continuation. It's a non-shooting foul. Well, we talked about it. Very important for Paul Pierce. That's an early foul. Just under two minutes. His first, first foul that he picks up guarding LeBron James. He's the only player that the Celtics have at the offensive end that are going to that's going to be able to put pressure on LeBron James. And Doc Rivers telling us earlier he'll start out with Pierce on James. LeBron will also see Tony Allen and perhaps Marquise Daniels, who did not play much in that opening round series. Nearly turnover number three. Well, good job there by the Celtics. LeBron James trying to back down Paul Pierce. You all got to have a foot in the paint. Let him see green jerseys all around. Cavaliers on the inbounds, and Jameson not able to hit. Here is Rondo. Jameson lost it, but it's retrieved by Parker. Rondo really wanted to throw that basketball out. You never want to jump in the air to pass. He got caught in the air and had to put the ball up at the basket. Shaq getting position down low on Perkins. Brown wants Shaq to go right at Perkins, and he does. And Mike Brown saying they'll try to get Shaquille O'Neal involved early on. Here's Pierce firing up for three. Parker on the rebound. I like the aggressive nature here in the early start by Paul Pierce. Parker, yes. Known primarily as a jump shooter, especially in those short corners when LeBron James able to get into the teeth of the defense. Surprise move, taking the ball off the dribble. Boston going 50-32 and 32 in the regular season. Had that shaky finish. Jameson on the foul, and the feeling is they felt they could turn it on and off, and then in the first round they beat Wayne Wade in Miami in five. Well, I mean, speaking with head coach Doc Rivers, it was really pick your poison. 
last few games of the regular season to try to get that fourth spot and go against the Miami or go down and possibly play Orlando in that second round. Garnett not able to hit. Backhanded by Perkins on the save. Able to get it to Garnett. Allen with the catch and shoot. And it's a two. He had a foot on the line. He is a major concern of the Cavaliers. Ray Allen has hurt Cleveland in recent years with that uh, lightning quick release. Well, Mike Brown talked about even double teaming him off of that single double down low. O'Neal. O'Neal kept it alive. Rondo with the save between the legs of O'Neal and handled by Garnett. Well, it's okay if you've been down and try to get the basketball, <laughs> big fella. And the Celtics turn it over. Here comes LeBron. Are you wondering if that right elbow is a little bothersome? Usually that would be one of those tomahawk one-hand guns right. by LeBron James. Playing through that strained right elbow and a bone bruise on the underside of the elbow. Allen misses on a three. Mo Williams in the open court. Celtics get back. Mo Williams coming off a strong series against the Bulls. Nice pass. O'Neal blows the stuff that he was put. Foul on Perkins. Nice jump down by LeBron James. Mo Williams coming off the Boston pick and roll right here. LeBron James rolls and just finds a wide open LeBron, or excuse me, Shaq. This is just a simple drop down for LeBron James. Usually we see that tomahawk or windmill. And Shaq at the line in the opening series, 7 of 12, which is good free throw shooting for Shaquille O'Neal. 67% from that series versus the Bulls. Shot it at a 50% clip during the regular season. And it looks like his form and follow through looks much better since he's come back from that hand injury. He appeared to find his game uh, after the first of the year. Was averaging 14 points in January and February. Perhaps someone's stepped in too quickly. Let's see what the call is. I think he's saying the official timeout. There must be a blood rule for Kendrick Perkins. 30 seconds to stop the bleeding. So Perkins over at the uh, Celtic bench. Ed Lassert, the athletic trainer, checking him out. Cleveland Cavaliers coming off the first round victory over the Bulls. Back-to-back 60-win -back seasons. At one point, they won 13 straight games, one shy of the franchise record. Last season, they went 66 and, and 16, best record in franchise history. And then in the postseason, they swept Detroit, then Atlanta, but in the Eastern Conference Finals, they lost to Orlando in six. And you see Kendrick Perkins is headed back to the Celtic locker room. Well, you talk about Danny Ferry surrounding LeBron James with some of the best players in the world, goes out in the offseason and brings Shaquille O'Neal in. But to me, I think the bigger pickup this offseason was Anthony Parker, a player at that 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, range, being able to guard the bigger defenders. That, to me, that was the problem in that series conference finals against Orlando last year, the inability to guard Hito Turkoglu and his uh, capabilities of stretching the floor. Glenn's big baby Davis has come on for uh, Kendrick Perkins. Barnett swings inside on Jameson, and it's put home. Paul Pierce with the follow, so six points for Pierce. Celtics up by one. Davis defending on O'Neal, stepping away. James posting up on Pierce. Rebounded by Garnett. Garnett had an excellent first round series against Miami. In fact, Doc Rivers saying that uh, Kevin is as healthy and has played as well as he has ha all season long as Pierce once again, very assertive here at the start, has connected on four of his first five. Well, you talked about Kevin Garnett being healthy, but Paul Pierce as well. Both of these guys basically got hurt at the same time when this Celtic team had that 23-5 and five record and was getting ready to go out west. As you see one of those awkward shots that you're going to see all series from Antoine Jameson. Here's Rondo. Now low to Garnett. Garnett getting position on Jameson.